I'm Crown Point School Superintendent Todd Terrell and today we are at Crown Point High School for another edition of Super Things. Welcome to Crown Point High School. We're here today in Engineering Design and Development with Mr. Matt LeBlanc, who is our instructor for the course. Matt, please say hi to everybody and let's tell us a little bit about what you're doing in here today. Hi everybody. Uh, well, Engineering Design and Development is a capstone course. It's the last course in our four-year PLTW pre-engineering program here at Crown Point High School. And the point of the course is students are challenged to come up with a problem that they want to create a solution for. And then they have the year to research the problem, uh, get information about that problem, and then start to design a solution, create a prototype, and then test the prototype. At the end of the year, they present it to a board of experts and see how they did. It's a great day to be here. We've got the kids have transitioned out of uh, one version of their prototype, and they're moving into a more advanced version of their prototype. So they're super excited to show you, and uh, I think you'll have fun. So tell me, what are you guys working on here today? Um, so here today, I'm redrawing our boot because this is a prototype one and I found some ways that we can improve it some. Um, is this part of the... This is the Liberty leg. This is our first prototype for it. Okay. We want it to take most of the weight off of the injury and where it's at. So right now we're working on different materials and different strengths like cardboard. If you were to mismatch the uh, mesh on it, it strengthens it. Whereas if you place it all one way, like this one is, mm -hmm. and how this is different. Gotcha. So this is stronger than this side. So um, that's what we're working on today. Monday we're gonna come back with new materials because Fridays we put in new materials that we need and Mr. LeBlanc goes and gets them at a timely rate. And um, So you're telling so, me he's working every weekend getting your yeah, yeah. supply list. We're very grateful for that. Yeah, that's a good teacher. We also have different attachments if oh, you'd yeah? like to see those. Well, sure. But that's a different segment. That's a different section over there. We just saw the Liberty leg, so tell me what are the attachments that you guys are working on to go on and accessorize the Liberty leg? So we thought it would be a better idea to make accessories to free up your hands and be able to do more things with them. So here we have, this is the prototype to the Liquid Liberator, and it just gimbals your cup for you, which the prototype actually does. I didn't expect it to, but nice, it does. Yeah. And then this is the one that we ended up 3D printing, which does work as well. And so the three that was produced? That was produced here over at here. the 3D yeah. printers, yeah. Wow. There's a lot of parts that we ended up having to make individually, so it took a lot more time than just building it all as one piece. We ended up buying bearings mm. online and then individually printed out the arms and connecting pieces to attach to the actual frame of the cup gimbal. Great. Any other accessories you're thinking about for this? So Bella over there and someone who's not here today, Cole, they ended up making the, what do you call it? The Liberty Luggage? Liberty Luggage. All right, you oh, want to introduce that, Bella? Let's hear about the Liberty <laughs> Luggage. Yeah. A lot of us are actually have been injured and or on crutches this year or last year. So we all dealt with the same issue of not being able to like carry anything in your hands because you're putting all your weight on your hands while using crutches. Um, so we thought along with our Liberty Leg, we can attach a bag to the side of your leg. Um, we have two separate mock-ups right now at the moment and prototypes, and we're trying to decide on a final fabric for the Liberty Luggage. We're between cotton, polyester, and nylon. There's pros and cons for all of them, and we're going to order all three and test them. And Good. Yeah. So show me a little bit about what we're looking at so here. So we're gonna use a Dremel laser cutter and first we take a piece to level the laser and then we unlock it, close the lid. We go to our jobs, find the job that we want. We go to put it onto the thing and press these three buttons. Make sure it's all three straight. of them. Yep. So just one, two, three. And then so it's ready to go and you just have to hit this button twice. Okay. Pieces. 
Thank you for joining us for another edition of Super Things as we visited our engineering class. Who knows, one of these days you may be using something that was designed by a Crown Point student. We are CP.